if you guys want to buy coins to open packs, to buy team of the season players, to buy international man of the match players, make sure you check out www.fifa14get.com for cheap and reliable coins. Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here, and this is my last Team of the Season Serie A player review. It's going to be on Team of the Season Pogba. If you haven't seen Team of the Season Vidal on Team of the Season Tevez review, check my recent uploads. They're right there. They're also giveaways. And this video is also a giveaway. 15k, simply just like this video. Refresh the page, see what like you are, and comment below. That's the best way I've found to give my giveaways. So this guy, I put him in the CDM position. But look at the stats. Look at the stats. Oh my god, plus 5 pace, plus 12 dribble. You got like the plus 12 shoot, plus 10 passing. This guy, they gave him the most pluses on his card stats and you're gonna see his in-game stats please pause when you see his in-game stats but again this is a division one play review so i'm not gonna put him as a striker and playing the online tournament i put him in cdm and my highlights are all of him playing division one as a cdm so the highlights aren't that special like tevis 97 ball control 81 crossing 94 curve 93 dribbling 81 finishing 86 free kick accuracy 89 heading accuracy 94 long pass 99 long shots 81 penalties 96 short pass 99 shot power 82 uh, slide tackle 88 stand tackle and 96 uh, I mean my bad I apologize 90 volleys 3 equal 3 skill moves medium medium work rates 96 strength, 82 sprint speed, 83 reactions, 86 jumping, 89 agility, 94 aggression, 83 interceptions. Those are some incredible endgame stats for Pogba. Those are, I don't know, they're, he reminds me, I'm going to say he's the Serie A uh, Yaya Toure. That's that's how I'm going to compare him. So this, the highlights of this, he, there's not that many goals. I don't think there is any goals, to be honest. I think there's one penalty, but other than that, it's just, this is this highlights all showing you his movement because it's so hard to review a seven defensive man what am i gonna show you every time he tackles every time he does a header so i try to do some kind of skill moves not skill moves but like just his movement his agility and all that good stuff so at the end of this video we're gonna see is this guy worth it can he compete on division one level and all that good stuff so this guy his pros i think his major pro is gonna be his agility and his movement for a big Black, center defensive mid, his movement is top notch. I'm telling you, I haven't used this Serie A squad for years. Not for years, but for like months. And with Tevez, Vidal, and Pogba, I'm really liking this team. They're so under they're so underrated. They're really good and they're super cheap. You could buy instead of buying Ronaldo, you could buy Team of the Season Pogba, Team of the Season Vidal, Team of the Season Tevez, and a few more other players with that. So Look at just look at the highlights. Look at his agility. He could change directions quickly. He could do skill moves and all that. And he has what three star skill moves? Believe me, it felt like he had four. He was definitely doing some nice skill moves. His passes were really really nice. I really liked giving passes with him. Uh, short passes, through ball passes, really good. But again, the most important thing that you want to focus on Pogba and what his re the reason why he's on this team is to be a center defensive mid, is to be a stopper. So this guy is the full package. He could stop headers when the goalkeeper clears it. He could intercept people are going on a counterattack, especially in a 4 one 2 one too. This guy in the center defensive mid, he just runs back and stops everything. Really important play on the team. After he stops it, he has really good passing. He can give it to your wingers, to your center attacking mid. Uh, however, the only thing I'm going to say that, don't take my word on it, is his long shots or just his finishing in general. I wasn't able to shoot with him. I don't know if I was having a bad day shooting or he's not good at shooting. I don't know because sometimes some players I just can't score with them and some players people save their shit and I could score miraculous goals with them so I really don't know about that but personal opinion I wouldn't buy him to finish I would just say buy him for his incredible defensive his incredible pace his passing and his dribbling the cons of this guy I will say his three weak foot and his skill moves I wouldn't say it's a con he I swear I swear to you it feels like he has four skill moves so final rating for this guy as a center defensive mid, I'm going to give him a uh, 9 out of 10. I would give him a 10 out of 10 if he could take long shots and finish. I swear I would give him 10 out of 10. But other than that, I'm going to give him 9 out of 10. This guy is relatively cheap. He's going for that 
300k mark, I believe. And I don't know. The the Serie A Yayatori, that's all I could say. I wouldn't put this guy center mid or center attacking mid. Just keep him in that center defensive mid spot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Get this to 100 likes and I'll bring you guys a how I play in Division 1 with the team of the season Serie A team. So yeah, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.